Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Hmm? You guys are blessed. I am here to make this video to appreciate God for what God has been doing in my life. God has done a lot in my life that I cannot be holding it anymore. I have to let the world to know what the Lord has done in my life. I can't hold it anymore. This God is so faithful and powerful. God has really changed me. God, God is still working on me. He's still working on me, but he has changed so many things in my life. Before, I normally have these negative thoughts all the time. Everything was negative. But now, I think positively. I thank you, Father. God has been the one helping me. He has been the one seeing me through in life. He has, that is, he is my all and all. My trust, my future, my hope, everything is him. Everything is God. Father, I thank you. Thank you for everything that you have been doing in my life. I just want to thank you. I want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for always being there, for fighting my battles, making a way for me where there is no way, putting smile on my face all the time. Thank you for always comforting me. Whenever I am down, God is always there to comfort me. I always feel his presence. I remember one night I could not, that is, it's not something that I can forget in my life. I was so depressed that day. I was crying. I said, Father, please, you have to help me. Holy Spirit, help me. My heart was so heavy towards my husband. That is all what he has been doing to me. He understand. You know, marriage is not easy. But I would say I have forgiven you. I have done this. But I never knew that I've never forgiven. That is, I didn't forgive him. Because everything was inside of me. My heart was so heavy towards him. Anything that he does, I didn't see. That is... Anything that my husband was doing, I don't see anything positive. But I thank God that night I called on him. I said, Father, you have to help me. My heart is so heavy, please. Holy Spirit, help me. Because I cannot, even mm -hmm. my husband, I will tell him, I have forgiven you. You know, man, he will still come to me, maybe. Some days, when he just touched me, I would just remember what happened the other day. And I would become so angry. I now understand that I have not forgiven him. My heart was so heavy towards him. My heart was so heavy, but he's trying his best, doing everything to make me to be okay, but I'm not seeing it. But God helped me. That night I cried. I cried to God. I said, Father, my heart is so heavy. That is, please, I need your help, Holy Spirit of God. I felt his presence that night. It was so powerful. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. God helped me that night. I felt his presence that night. He came to comfort me. And he said he would take away my pains. And he did. 
He took away my pains away from me. He wiped away my tears. And he made me a better person today. Father, I have come to show my appreciation unto you. I have come to say thank you, Yahweh, for all you've been doing for me. Whenever I am down, God is there to comfort me. I always feel his presence. I feel his power. E banga yandu geni manda gandu ganya na na na. A kanya zunge ne ba zunde rege du se bandi handi ya. Thank you, Father. I always feel his presence. This God is so powerful. This God is so powerful. He wiped away my tears. He took away that heaviness for me. My life before any little thing, I just be angry for nothing. Just looking at your face, I will just be angry. But now, God has changed my life. For me to even be angry is a problem. I've been asking myself, I can't be angry. What is happening? But God has changed my life. He has changed my life for good. I can't be angry to that extent of committing sin. No. No. God took away that heaviness away from me. And he gave me a pure heart. He gave me a pure heart. A loving heart. I just want to say thank you, Father. He has been the one fighting my battles. Even for my mother's womb. Even for my mother's womb. He has been the one fighting my battle. He has been the one fighting my battles for me. I just want to say thank you, Yahweh, for everything. Even then, when I was in Nigeria, we don't know what is, that is what is holiness. We normally go to church, but we don't know. You go to church, you fornicate, you do all sorts kind of things. But God has been faithful in my life. God has been protecting me. God has been fighting my battles. Even before coming out here in Europe, it was a great battle for me. My mother was doing papers for me to come out here in Europe. They refused me visa for no reason. They refused me visa. Then my mom said, look, I don't want you to go back. I just want you to stay in Lagos there with my uncle. I said, okay, no problem. Then he would tell them at home there that I have traveled because it seemed that so many, so many arrows, so many, you understand, hmm? people are there. They don't want me to travel. So I said, okay, no problem. I not, I not stayed with my uncle, but then it was so difficult for me there also. It was so difficult for me. My uncle, I think he had five children. I think four girls and uh, a boy, the senior boy, the senior son. So when I started staying with them, this boy a day he wanted to sleep with me. I now pushed him away. I said, No, you can't do this. I avoided him that day. God saved me that day. I am not the one. God did, not me. Then I started staying with them. The more I'm staying there with them, because the, my uncle's kids, they normally stay at, that is, they are doing this, uh, what is it called, boarding school or so, they normally stay at school. Then they have this herself, but um, she's not there all the time for them. So I am the one at home also, helping them out. But there are a lot of things to do in that house, my God. A lot of things to do in that house. 
So I started staying there. My uncle, the, um, the wife, the wife, she's no more. So there was this lady that normally comes to stay with him, maybe during the weekend or so. Then this, uh, my uncle, he started molesting me. You know, you just came to the house. This thing was so strange. Anytime that I'm going to pass or maybe want to give him something, anything, he would touch me, he would do this. I would just move my body. I say, Father, please. I would say, God, please help me. Then I don't know God much like that, but God helped me. Because I started doing even midnight prayers then. I don't even know what I was doing then. Then I think I was 17, 18 years, a young, young lady. I don't even know what I was even doing then. But I was praying all the night. I was praying all the night. I said, Father, you have to help me, please. Please, if you should help me in this issue, then I will give a very great testimony. You know, we normally uh, do so many vows hey, in Africa. Say, Father, please help me. God helped me. This man could not sleep with me. God helped me. I could not even tell my mother what was happening. Because if I should tell my mother, everything would just spoil. I won't stay there again. Where will I stay? You understand? So I just kept everything inside of me. But God helped me. This man could not sleep with me. Till when I came to Europe, God helped me so much. Then I don't even know what I was doing, but I was always praying. I was always praying. I was always doing midnight prayer. I don't know God much like that, but I was praying all the time. God really fought this battle for me. And I thank God. I thank God. I came to Europe. I got married. I, I have my kids. God has been so faithful to me. He has been so faithful. I am not, I'm not that type of person that normally goes to church. I go to Catholic church. You understand? I go to Catholic church. But I do watch all these prophets. You know, and there are so many prophets, so many hmm, online. I do watch them. After, after I finish from this one, I go to the other one. After I finish, you understand? And some of them will be telling me, ah, you have this problem. Or you have this. You have that. You have that. And we need money. Send me money so that I can pray for you. Send me money so that I can do this for you. I said, okay, no money. My own is to be sending the money. But nothing was happening. There was one I called one day. I said, I had this dream. Oh, please, you have to pray for me. You have to do this. He said, ah, no problem. Now, now we're going to check for seven blind um, pastors. Pastors. Seven blind pastors to pray for you. But we need money. And you have to send the money. Hey, I said, Father, I send the money. But well, where I see any change, nothing change. We seven, where will he see that seven, seven blind uh, pastors? No, we are just to be scamming people. Taking money, making people to be dry. But I have that giving heart to give. There was one again that was always, you know the day that I received that my salary will come. That one normally calls me that day. Anytime that my salary wants to come, he will call me that very day for money. All the time, money, money, money. Give me money. He's building church. He showed me the building. He's doing this. He's doing that. He's doing this. My God. This, this was so, that is a, I just thank God for my life. Then there was a day I was just going through my Facebook. I'm not that type that normally go through Facebook, but that day I was just going through Facebook. I just saw my, my apostle, my woman of God, a great woman of God, a powerful woman of God, anointed by God himself, not by man, anointed by God himself. I just saw her. 
on Facebook. That first day, I just said, hmm, who knows? She now popped again on my on my timeline again. I said, ah. And then I started watching her, following her. But God lives in her. God lives in her because she carries the presence of God. She's a woman of God with good heart, a giving heart. A woman that loves with all her heart. God is using her mightily. God uses her mightily to change my life, the way of thinking, the way of doing things. Before, I don't even know what holiness is all about. You know, when you come from Africa, you do things the way you want to do things. Who cares? But she taught, taught what holiness is all about. She taught, taught how to fear God, how to appreciate God, how to obey God. When God tells you to do something, you do it, no matter what. She's so powerful. And I thank her and appreciate her for everything that she has been doing for us in Queen's Belemsi School of Power. Queen's Belemsi Ministry School of Power is a real school of power. The place that you go and learn. You learn. You learn and you will come out from there powerful. Look at my life today. I am that shy person. I don't know, that is, I don't normally talk. But look at me today. I came from that ministry. God used her mightily to change lives of people. Now I now know what holiness is all about. I just thank God for her life. I thank God for, for her, for accepting the call because she has changed lives of people. I appreciate you, my apostle, and I love you with the love of God. So I thank God for my life. God changed my life through that ministry. I am here to say, God, I thank you for everything. He has been the one protecting me. He has been the one fighting my battles. He has been the one seeing me to look at me today. Before I could not even speak. Before I am so shy. Now he made me to be bold to come out. Whenever I want to come out, I come out and speak. Whether you like what I'm saying or you don't like, or, eh, I am out already. Because God is with me. He has made me to be fearless. I don't fear. He has blessed me a lot. I am really blessed. I am really blessed. Even when I'm tired, when I am, I said, ah, I want to give up. But I still see myself moving. Even when things are difficult, I say, I don't want to do this. I cannot do this. I cannot do that. But I still see myself moving. God has been the one pushing me forward. He has been the one holding my hands. He has been the one telling me, no, you don't have to give up. He has been the one seeing me through, fighting my battles. This God is so powerful. This God is so powerful. He has been the one moving me forward. Even when I don't want to maybe come online. But I see myself coming online. I see myself doing the things that I've never done before. I will be so surprised when I finish. I'll say, am I the one that did this? This God is so powerful. We need to love God with all our heart. 
Love God with all your heart. And God will see you through. Don't love him because of what you want to get from him. Love God because you truly love him. God has been my comforter. He has been the one encouraging me to move forward in life. He has been the one holding me, holding my hand. Even when I'm pinned down that I don't want to move, he will be the one to push me to move forward. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. He has been the one there for me. All the time that I needed him, he, that is, he's always there. I will just feel his presence. God is so powerful. He's so faithful to fear. He is so faithful to fear. And he can never fail you. He can never disappoint you. Just hold on on him. Don't leave him. Continue loving God with all your heart. And he will continue to fight your battles. And he will see you too. God has really changed my life. I can come out and preach to people. I could remember the first day that I came online to preach. I nearly pee on my body that day. I said, who send me, Father? Hey, please. Because I was hearing, go online and preach. Go online, go online. Go, 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 go. I did that day. And that night, God visited me. It was a powerful encounter that changed my life. It was a powerful encounter. I think I said this the other day. I saw this man in my dream. I saw this man in my dream. This man was all white, all white, even the beards, everything was all white. But I could not see his face. But I could see, I could see beards like this. Eh? But here was a flash of light. The beard was so long. <laughs> His body, that is, everything was on white, shoe white. But yet, I could not see because the flash of light, there was so much. And he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that was the message that I preached that day. Since that day, my life changed. This God is so powerful. Even I see myself doing things that I've not done before. God has been the one holding my hands. He has been the one moving me forward. If it is only me, my dear, for me to come out and be preaching. Ah, it's God, it's not me. It's not me. He has been the one fighting for me. I just want to let you know that God loves you so much. Just live your life for God. Live in holiness to please God. And God used my apostle to teach us what holiness is all about. She taught us so much. That is eh? how to love God, how to live to please God. May God continue to bless her. May the oil on her head never run dry. It will, that is, it will continue to be fresh every morning. May God continue to bless her for me. She is so anointed and powerful. Queen's Belemsi School of Power. Huh? Queen's Belemsi School of Power. Hmm? So, I thank you guys for everything. 
I thank you guys for everything also, for supporting me, for being there for me also. And the Lord continue to reward you and bless you guys. If you want your life to be changed, if you want God to change your life, go to Queen's, Queen's Belemsi Ministry of Power and you will see God changing your life there. Go there and learn more. Go there and learn more. And God will use you mightily. And God will use you mightily. And God will use you mightily. You are all blessed. I love you guys with the love of God. May God continue to strengthen you guys. May God continue to fight your battles. May God continue to shower his that is his rings of blessings upon your lives. May he give you directions. May he bless you. I'm con that is, may God continue to make a way for you where there is no way. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold on to him. And live to please God. Live in holiness. Love God with all your heart. Obey him. Whenever he tells you to do something, do it. No matter what. Okay? I love you guys with the love of God. May God loves you more. Bye, everyone. Be blessed.